Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam let us know that the basis of our religion and first and foremost from the Quran is it's based on Tawheed, it's based on the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And since we're winding down in Ramadan and it's something we should all be aware of is that whenever we want our deeds accepted that there are two conditions that have to be in place. First and foremost, that it has to be in accordance with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Or first and foremost, it has to be on Tawheed, it has to be with sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you're doing whatever you're doing, whatever act of ibadah, it has to be done for the sake of Allah, not for the sake of your desires, not for the sake of your people, not for the sake of your hizb, your group, or your sect. But rather it has to be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second condition being that it has to be on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that whatever we do, our fasting, our prayer, our hajj, it all has to be in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how he did it, how he worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and how he, and, 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 and with sincerity to Allah, to wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَى لِي عَبُدُ اللَّهُ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, that they were not commanded except that they should worship me, uh, they were not commanded except that they should worship Allah with sincerity. Mukhlisin lahu deen. And in a religion belonging to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The deen is for Allah. It's sincere. And may Allah forgive us for not remembering that. And that's why I, I, I'm doing this as a reminder, first and foremost, to myself and then to those listening, is that we have to remember our ibadah. Our worship, the things we're trying to achieve and do, is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second thing, of course, is that it's in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. That whatever we do, as an act of ibadah, it must follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we cannot come up with a new type of ibadah and a new way in which to do our acts of worship. And this is the whole issue with bid'ah that some of our brothers and sisters in Islam believe bid'ah has a good type of bid'ah or that there's a good way to change certain acts of ibadah, make them better or what have you. We say that this is misguidance, that this is leading to the hellfire by operating by those nasus where the Prophet Sallallahu said, Kullu bid'atin dalala wa kullu dalalatin fin nar. The Prophet Sallallahu said, all bid'ah is in the hellfire and every, or all bid'ah is leading astray and all leading astray is, go, is leading to the hellfire. So, by operating by that, this is the qaida in general of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah that they believe all bid'ah is a misguidance in going astray. It takes you away from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That he, it's as if to say the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't come with that which was complete and do his, his, his full task as a, as a Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Or it's as if to say your Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, A'udhu Billah Mandalika, that he didn't complete the religion. But in fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completed his deen, his, his, his deen and established, you know, as a favor to us, a ni'mah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Al-yawm, 
أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورديت لكم إسلام الدين. He said, at this day I've perfected my religion for you. And I've made and I've completed my favor upon you. And I've made chosen for you a religion as a religion, Islam. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completing his favor for us. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So by having sincerity to Allah and following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we are seeking the reward of Allah. That's what, those are the components and those are the conditions for our deeds to be accepted. Everything that we do. Re supplication. If you supplicate to other than Allah, you've negated ikhlas. You raise your hands, you're making dua, and you're saying, Oh, Abdul Qadr Jailani. Oh, so and so. Oh, so and so. Oh, Sheikh so and so. Oh, Grandpa so and so. Wa'iyadh billah min dalika. Then you are committing shirk. You've negated ikhlas. So you've made your deed battle from the start. You got no action with that form of, which is supposed to be a form of worship. As the Prophet ﷺ said, a dua huwa ibadah. Supplication is worship. And if you, instead you make it sincerely to Allah, you supplicate to Allah, but yet you add something new that is not in accordance with the Sharia at all, according to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then also you can negate what you've done. For example, that same situation, you're supplicating to Allah, but you choose to do it, you do it on graves. You sit at the head of graves, and you make that your regular practice, you do it at a, some regular interval, every Jumu'ah you say, I've got to re be reminded of death, so I'm going to the grave. And you make that a form, almost as, as if you're legislating, to go every Jumu'ah. You've made it an Eid, because that's what it means in Arabic, an Eid, Ada Yu'idu. It means to, to make something regular, like a regular habit. And if you make that normal act of Ibadah, which could have been an act of goodness, you make it regular when it was not regularly done as an act of ibadah in that way, then you have established a new, uh, an actual new form of ibadah, or if you've changed that which was khair and, and made it a, a deviation. So this is why it's imperative as, as believers to be cautious of bid'ah, be cautious of how we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it meets those conditions that it is based on sincerity to Allah and that it is based on the practice of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that's what we have to always strive our best to do and there's so many ahadith and ayat to illustrate for us the importance of sincerity and the importance of uh, following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who have ikhlas with thabat ala sunnah, who follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and have sincerity and have our deeds accepted by Allah. And may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings and help us to remove the ignorance that we have Help us to be better slaves and forgive us of all of our sins. And bless us with Jannah to produce and have mercy upon all the Muslims everywhere. The living and the dead. And grant us forgiveness. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.